Hello, today uh, I'm recording this short video to demonstrate how to use PDF escape PDF editor. Okay, so here we are on the home page of PDF escape Windows version. Now PDF escape comes with two different options. First is like free online uh, software that we can use. And if you want to try for the desktop, you can download it, install it on your computer and uh, use it for demo of this purpose i'll just use this free online version so i'm clicking free online button over here okay so uh, uh what i see is uh, there are four different options like create a new pdf upload a pdf load a pdf from internet and load a pdf previously open what exactly we are going to do here for this demo purposes like uh, i'll be uploading a pdf from this i'll click on this option to upload an existing pdf uh, from my computers okay so let me see uh, if i can find some pdf document as to just open it. okay so i have uh, here one pdf i'll be clicking on this and opening it so just jump. Okay, so here we are with this this particular document and say I want to uh, edit this document and I want to fill up this form manually with some data. So what I'll do, I have a bunch of options over here. Uh, first of all, uh, when I use this insert tab by default, it has like text, white out, image, free end, free hand, sorry, link, form field. When click on more button, it will explore uh, it will show a uh, few uh, more options like rectangle check mark line circle arrow etc etc okay so first of all uh, if i want to use a check mark so what i'll do I'll, I'll click on this button check mark select it and if i want to put a check mark over here i'll just click on it and it's done now until and unless i click it over here again and disable it wherever i'll click the mouse it will keep on inserting Errors. Okay, so in order to disable, either I have to click over here, or I have, or click over here. So I'll just disable it, and one once more, I'll click on this. I'll select this unwanted, and just hit delete button. So this will delete unwanted uh, check marks. Now, if I want to re reposition this, so I can just, uh, I can just select this check mark hold the left mouse button down and reposition it okay now i want to resize it for example then again i'll click it over here and I, I can resize it using this handle okay so this is one thing okay now uh, on the top you can see various options like this is 50 percent of the view of the document 100 percent and 200 percent okay by default it is 100 percent view now what I want to do next is I want to add some date over here. So some text. So I'll, I'll select this text option. I'll insert the date. So for example, today's date. So it's like 12-16-2016. Okay. And same way. For all the options, same way. Uh, once you don't need, once you are done with any of the options, just click on here to disable it. But suppose if I want to continue inserting text at various places, so I've done this now I'll click it over here and insert the client's name my customer okay processor suppose mr okay again same way if I want to again I'll select a check mark and is this client in house I mean if, if I want I can use this check marks option and disable it now what i want to do is suppose if i want to edit this text now it is written cash advance loan if i want to insert something else so first of all i'll select this whitewash and i'll just click it over here drag and so now this is done so now i have covered this though this is movable but i have covered this text so now it is not i cannot display and over that i can type whatever new content i want okay so what i'll do i'll just click on this and again i'll delete this because i don't want to 
hide this out so this is the way i showed you how to like cover the existing content and on top of it edit insert a new content so here is the text option now suppose if i want to insert some image uh, what i'll do i'll click on this image button select any image from my local computer select it over here now once I have uploaded I can just click a button wherever I want to insert that image so I'll just click it over here suppose I want to insert here and once done I'll again disable this image option so it's over here now I can resize the same way as I did with the checkbox uh, I mean check mark so this is done I'll delete it for now this is the image option freehand is something if you want to draw something like freehand i mean some shape or something like that so this is the use of the freehand suppose if i want to circle out something i'll use i'll click on the freehand and i'll use this to highlight okay i'll disable this again select this shape hit delete button to remove it now suppose if i want to insert a circle then what will happen i'll i just need to select this circle option and drag sorry, drag and drop now this is filled here you have options like border suppose if i want to reduce the border then i can just make it one point border is black color fill now fill i don't want to fill uh, with any particular color so what I, i'll do this i'll select this option with the slanted red line so what will happen it will create a transparent circle if i want to fill this circle with any particular color just click on this fill button over here and select any color over here from this color palette okay so suppose now i want to uh, uh, change the border color to red so i'll just click on this border select this color from the palette and it will become red i want to increase the thickness so i can increase the thickness from here okay so this is the way we can use color same goes with the rectangle shape uh, just drag and drop and change the border change border color fill it with whatever color you, you like and so on and so forth okay so uh, we have seen okay one more option is the line if you want to insert a line over here just select just like we select and use other uh, like circle and rectangle so uh, click on the line option then draw it over here you can just drag it and resize and reposition or do whatever you want. okay so this is the way you use this default insert tab next is annotate annotate now i have not much used but yes mainly it is for like inserting a sticky note suppose if i'm clicking out over here a sticky note drag and drop here is the note this is my note and i'm done click here to disable it and it's done okay so now i just i'll just remove it for now highlight if i want to highlight certain some text okay and reposition it disable it again if i want to reposition or do whatever if i want to delete then select this shape hit delete button and it's gone same goes with the strike through and rectangle and underline and oval and all those stuff now i'll take you to the third tab which is page suppose if i want to uh if i want to add some page then what i can i can do i can i i just need to click on append button okay before that i need to save it so either clicking on append button it will ask whether to save or not i'll click on yes or alternatively what i can do is click on this disk i mean floppy disk uh, icon to save the document and uh, 
now click on this append button and select if you have any other page that you want to insert for example here suppose i have this another document that i want to insert just below this particular document i selected it now as you can see the second page is inserted okay now suppose if i want to bring this page on the top so what i'll do i'll click on move this will ask me which page do i want to move so i'll select page number two sorry not that i'm so sorry uh click select on this move tool and since currently i have selected page number one so clicking on move tool will ask me where where do i want if i have 10 pages i can move this particular selected page current selected page anywhere so i'm selecting two that means it will go this selected page will move down on the second page position suppose if i again want to move this to first position then i will select this particular page click on move and move page to one so this will move at the top okay rotate left rotate suppose if i have some document which is like uh, pdf is created where you need to rotate it rotate the document so what i'll do i'll just hit rotate left it will rotate anti clockwise 90 degree rotate right will uh, turn this uh, rotate this particular document on the clockwise 90 degrees crop suppose if i want to crop certain thing certain area then i just need to click on crop drag and drop so this will crop this area the selected area so now here as it displays i can manually increase or decrease the size in pixel and then hit ok to crop the page see here you are the page is cropped okay next uh, we saw move we saw rotate left rotate uh, right append and crop uh, disk queue if i want to like uh, just disk queue this okay uh, disk queue cannot be more than 45 degrees i'm so sorry so uh, just drag this and drop it so it's not something yeah okay see so this will disk queue the document to the angle that you have selected in order to disk queue i'll again select this option disk queue and this see angle okay okay so now i've seen uh, we have covered all of the options last one is the delete button suppose if i want to delete any particular page so what i'll do i'll go and select that page hit delete button and on a dialog will appear it will ask yes or no yeah, and i'll hit yes button to confirm so that will be de deleted again i want uh, i want to save this document so what i'll do i'll hit on this blue button icon that will save the document uh, on the cloud and to download onto the mic onto, onto my computer suppose if i have uh, i have filled up this form with all the details and i want this form to download on my computer so i'll i'll hit this green button and i'll select the location where i want to uh, download and then simply download okay so this uh this is the short video that i have done to show how pdf escape pdf uh, editor software can be used to edit the pdf documents i hope uh, this will help thank you for watching this video